today's adventure starts on the Elf Road. Fox Cubs! Are you looking forward to your first day at Fox Cubs, Ben? Yes, Dad. I loved being a Fox Cub when I was your age. I've still got my hat. In my day, it was Old Grey Wolf in charge. They've got a new leader now. I wonder who it is. Welcome to Fox Cubs, everybody. I'm the new leader. Hello, Hello Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Don't call me Nanny Plum. I'm Fluffy Owl, to wit to woo. Hello, Fluffy Owl. To it, to it. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm the new Fox Cub leader. You have to call me Fluffy Owl. To wit, to woo. Oh, hello, Fluffy Owl. You have to say the to wit, to woo bit as well. Ta wit, ta woo. You're just in time for the badges. Oh, is someone getting a badge? Ben, you're going to have so much fun getting your badges. Dad, what badges did you get when you were a fox cub? I got an adventure badge, a sailing badge and a knots badge. A knots badge? Yes. After days and days of tying knot after knot, I finally got my knots badge. It was hard work, but worth it. Who wants a badge? Eh? Everyone step forward and tell me what badge you'd like. You first, Rosie. Can I have an adventure badge, please? One adventure badge. But, but... Can I have a sailing badge? Of course. One sailing badge. Strawberry, what would you like? A knots badge, please. Here you go. Stop it. Stop it at once. You don't just hand out badges. Why not? You have to earn your badges. To get my adventure badge, I had to spend three days camping in the wild. Well, I watched a whole night of TV for my watching TV badge. Watching TV badge? That's not what the Fox Cubs are about. The Fox Cubs are about having adventures in the wild. Adventures do sound like fun. We like adventures. Mr Elf, can we have an adventure in the wild? Well, it's not up to me. It's up to Fluffy Owl. Oh, very well. Follow me, everyone. OK, here we are, having an adventure. What do we do? Well, imagine we had to look for food. How do we find food here? Fluffy Owl, why don't you show the children how to find food in the wild? All right. This way, everyone. Now they'll see. It's not easy to find food in the wild. Hiya! We found food. Ice cream! Ice cream? Yes, from the ice cream van over there. But that's cheating! Look, you said find some food, so we did. Now you're changing the rules. We got you a raspberry ripple, Mr Elf. OK, moving on from finding food. Does anybody know how to make a shelter? Oh, me! Me! I brought my tent. Watch this. There we go. Ooh. It's got five bedrooms, a bathroom, a television and even a cellar. Oh, it's amazing. The best tent in the world. We can't sleep in that. Why not? What's wrong with being comfortable when you're on holiday? This is an adventure, not a holiday. We'll make a shelter out of two twigs and a leaf. You lean the twigs up like this and, hey, presto, what have you got? Two twigs and a leaf. Where's the bed? You sleep on the ground. It's nature's bed. Lovely and cosy. But why bother when you can sleep in my castle tent? You're missing the point. Do you fox cubs want a real adventure? Yes! Good. If you're going to learn how to survive in the wild, you have to be in the wild. Like, uh, at the top of a mountain. What? Fluffy Owl, please magic us to the top of a mountain. OK. Abracadabra. Wow, we're at the top of a real mountain. Fantastic. Now, how are we going to get home? Easy. Our magic is home. Let's say you don't have your wand with you. OK, I'll call for help. No phone either. Hello, hello. But that's 
that's going to make it very, very difficult to get home. Exactly. But when you get home, you will have earned your adventure badge. So, what do we do first? Maybe we should start by working out which mountain we're on. Good, Ben. That's exactly what we should do. Fluffy Owl, which mountain did you magic us to? No idea. What? You just said a mountain. I don't know one mountain from another. Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Why? Because we don't even know what country we're in. Oh. Perhaps you should magic us back home and we'll start again. I can't. You threw my wand down the mountain. Oh, yes. Let's ring for help. But you threw Fluffy Owl's phone down the mountain too. Oh, yes. So I did. You wanted us to be lost. Now we're lost. Happy now? I'm sure Mr Elf wouldn't have sent us to the top of a mountain if he didn't know how to get us home. Thank you, Strawberry. OK, I think I can work out where we are by using my compass. Let's see. North is that way and the position of the sun is... Oh, my goodness! We're on Everest! What's that, then? Mount Everest! The tallest mountain in the whole world! Is Mount Everest far from home, Dad? A bit far from home, Ben, yes. And is it really very high? A bit high? Yes, Holly. I suppose we could just climb down. Just climb down? Just climb down Everest, the enormous, treacherous mountain of rock and ice, perilous cliff after perilous cliff that could only be conquered by the world's greatest mountaineers? So, Mount Everest is not safe for children to climb down? No, Mount Everest isn't child-friendly. So what do we do now, Mr Einstein? I don't know. Oh, if only we had my castle tent. <sighs> What good would that do? We could watch TV. Could the fairy fly for help? In that wind, you'd be blown away. No, what we need is someone who can climb down the mountain and fetch help. I know, Gaston is good at climbing. <coughs> good idea, Ben. Go, Gaston, go. Get help. <coughs> it may be some time before Gaston returns. After climbing down the mountain, he will have to journey through the jungle, cross the desert, swim the ocean before he arrives at the little kingdom. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> What's that? All the children and Fluffy Owl and Mr Elf all trapped at the top of a mountain, you say? <coughs> then this is a job for Old Grey Wolf. Ow! Lead the way, Gaston. Is this mountain far? Still further? Oh, are we nearly there? So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo! Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety, or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I set off in a bit of a hurry, and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to, but he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit twoo. Well, you should thank Mr Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho, ho. And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank, Thank you, old grey wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the fox cubs' hour of need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Who is it? 
Gaston, of course. <laughs> Gaston to the rescue! Oh. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Dinner party! Nanny Plum, your pie, mash and chips is delicious. What's for pudding? I hope it's not too heavy. Treacle sponge pudding with blancmange and custard. Hooray! Excellent. Nanny Plum is the best cook in the little kingdom. I say Nanny Plum is the best cook in the whole world. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Hello. Hello. Queen Marigold here. <gasps> it's King and Queen Marigold. Oh, no. They're so boring and snooty. We were just eating a lovely meal of spinach with sea foam when we thought how nice it would be if you joined us for dinner tomorrow. They've invited us for dinner tomorrow. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll handle this. Sorry, we can't come for dinner. Oh, dear. Dear, what a shame. I know you hardly ever get to eat good food. What? I'll have you know we have the best cook in the whole world. You have the best cook in the whole world? Yes. Oh. Well, then we must come to you for dinner instead. See you tomorrow. Toodle pip. Oh. I've got some good news and some bad news. What's the good news? Good news. We're not going to King and Queen Marigold's for dinner tomorrow. Hooray! What's the bad news? They're coming here. Oh, no! What are we going to do? King and Queen Marigold will want to eat something special. Luckily, we have the best cook in the whole world, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. What about baked potato stuffed with potato with chips and mash and a fried egg on top? No, Nanny. They will want special modern food. I can cook porridge. That's not modern food. What is modern food, Mummy? It is very delicate food in tiny portions. I can do tiny portions. <laughs> well done, Nanny. That is small. <laughs> Of course, it will get bigger when the magic wears off. When is the magic going to wear off, Nanny? Um, about now. Excuse me. <laughs> it's not just the size of the food, Nanny. Modern cooking is fussy. No problem. Nanny has until tomorrow evening to come up with something. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Good. That's that sorted. Nanny! What are you going to do? Uh, I don't know. Morning, Holly. Are you coming out to play? No, Ben. I need to help Nanny learn how to cook. But Nanny Plum's a very good cook. She is the best cook in the world, Ben. But she can't cook modern food. Why does she need to cook modern food? It's what King and Queen Marigold like, and they're coming to dinner tonight. What Nanny needs is a cookbook. Come on. Wait for me. Where are we going? The Great Elf Library. Ooh. Excuse me, wise old elf. Shush. This is a library. Sorry. We need a book of modern cooking for Nanny Plum. But Nanny Plum is an excellent cook. Yes, she's the best cook in the whole world. But she can't do modern cooking. Hmm. Let's see. The Elf Book of Pies, The World of Spaghetti and Mash, A Complete History of Egg Sandwiches. Is there anything modern? Uh, what exactly is modern cooking, Princess Holly? It is food that's very delicate and special, and not porridge. Oh. Wait a minute. This doesn't look like an elf book. 
That's because I'm not. Ah, a magical fairy book? What's that doing in my elf library? There are no words in the book. I am a magical cookery book. Where are all your recipes? Oh, if you tell me what you want to cook, I will tell you how to cook it. We want to cook a special modern meal, please. How modern? Uh, very modern. Certainly. You will need the following ingredients. Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. It's so good of you to have us at such short notice. No trouble at all. We can't wait to see what the best cook in the world cooks for dinner. Oh, sorry, that's my tummy. I'm just so looking forward to this lovely meal. <laughs> dinner is served. Enjoy your meal, Majesties. Oh, yes, such a delicate flavour. So subtle. Nanny? Your Majesty? What's this called? Cloud of vegetable soup. It's just steam. Such a sensitive dish. Mm, how wonderful. I can barely taste it. Does it come with any potatoes? Uh, no. Nanny, I'm hungry. Me too. No problem. These leftover potatoes, carrots, onions, peas and cheese have made a lovely soup. Ooh, yummy! Um, this steam is delicious, of course, but will there be anything else to follow? Yes, even though it's very filling, I could eat a tiny something more. I could eat a lot, lot more. <laughs> What's that lovely smell? It's coming from the kitchen. This is delicious, Nanny. Mmm, it's the best. I say, what's this? It's just the children's supper. It smells very nice. It's only some soup I made from the leftovers. It's not very modern. You wouldn't like it. Could I try just a little bit? The taste is so tasty. Can I try some too? And me. And me. Oh, yes. So filling. <laughs> Marvellous, Nanny. Uh -huh. I have an announcement to make. Nanny Plum is indeed the best cook in the whole world. 
world. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. Now, what would everyone like for pudding? Something modern or my treacle pudding? Treacle pudding! <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Nanny Plum and the wise old elf swap jobs for one whole day. Fairy cakes! Who wants fairy cakes? Oh, yes, please. Wise old elf? Hmm, don't mind if I do. Ah, my ears are wiggling. That means there's magic about. Well, I did make the cakes with magic. Why can't you make cakes the normal way? By baking them in the oven. I don't have time for baking in ovens. I have lots of work to do. Ha! Ah, what work? I do more work than you. No, you don't. I do more work than you. I could do what you do, no problem. I could do what you do easily. Why don't you swap jobs? Then you'd know who does the most work. Good idea. Ho, ho, ho. Very funny, Your Majesty. I'm not joking. As your king, I command you to swap jobs for one day. The wise old elf can be Nanny. And Nanny can be the wise old elf. But... But... No buts. It's a royal command. All right, then. You'd better have my hat. And you'd better have my apron. Now, I'd better warn the elves what they're in for. Calling all elves. Just for today, somebody else is going to be the wise old elf. Who is it? Me! <gasps> Danny Plum! Don't worry. She won't do any magic. She has to do everything the elf way. I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. Well, I have to go. I'm being Nanny Plum for the day. Goodbye. Oh, I should have taken Nanny's wand away. Don't worry. Nanny said she wouldn't do any magic. Hmm, I'll know if she does. My ears will wiggle. So, what does the wise old elf do all day? He has a list of jobs. He starts with the toy factory. Hello, everyone. I'm the wise old elf. Don't worry. It's just for today. Oh, I see. Um, well, wise old elf, the glute machine is broken. Can you fix it? No problemo. Time for a bit of magic. My ears are wiggling. Nanny is doing magic. Hello? No magic. All right. Keep your hair on. Nanny, you're the wise old elf today, remember? Oh, yes. How would he fix the gloop machine? He'd probably just kick it. OK. The packaging machine isn't working. You want me to kick it? Yes, please, wise old elf. The paint machine needs fixing. Oh, my foot's beginning to ache. Wise old elf. I'm Nanny Plum today, Your Majesty. Do you have Nanny's list of jobs? List of jobs? I don't think she has one. Nanny isn't one for lists. Why not start by washing my socks? All right, let's go down to the washing room. Oh, these stairs are going up. But a moment ago, they went down. Yes, it's magic. The stairs change all the time. The rooms get bored, so they move around. The toilet was on the roof once. Yes, that was fun. But how do I get down to the kitchen? You ask the stairs to go down. Stairs go down. You have to say the magic word. What magic word? Abracadabra? No, please. Oh, please go down. Thank you. Right, let's get these dirty clothes into the washing machine. How do I turn it on? It's a magic washing machine. You have to talk to it. OK. Washing machine, wash the clothes. Say the magic word. Oh, please, 
No, abracadabra. Oh, abracadabra. Goodness, this is harder than I thought it would be. Right, Ben. What does the wise old elf do now? Next on the list, the elf school. Good morning, children. Where's the wise old elf? Today, I'm the wise old elf. Ahem. <clears throat> Magic always leads to trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's today's lesson? We've been building a robot. You can ask him anything. OK, where am I? You are on the moon. That's not right, is it? Uh, maybe ask louder. OK. Ahem. <clears throat> Where am I? You are at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. How would the wise old elf mend it? He'd probably disassemble the bias kernel, Boolean geek logic, Higgs, Boson, Quark, and then rewire them. Even if I had the foggiest idea what you were talking about, can you see me doing that? No. OK. Magic time! <laughs> dee dee da, dum dee. Ah! My ears are wiggling. Now, where am I? You are here. You can't get more accurate than that. <laughs> Hello? Nanny? I know. Your ears are wiggling. Which means you are doing magic. Stop it. Stop it now. I do not like magic. Now, Holly, what is my next job? Magic school. Oh. Good morning, children. I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Palum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Oh, that's not a bed. It's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to elf rescue. Oof. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch elf rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes. Oh, goody. Oh, how can a bed be so soft? Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Nanny! OK, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. Oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, oh there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, Magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout magic jelly, more, more, more? Whoops! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Can somebody answer the phone? I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. Um, uh, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. Elf Rescue a go. Launch everything. Elf Rocket A-OK. -okay. Elf Plane A-OK. -okay. Elf Helicopter A-OK. -okay. Thank goodness you're here, Elf Rescue. A jelly flood isn't a job for Elf Rescue. It's a job for Nanny Plum. Magic time! 
thank you, Nanny. Being you for a day wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy being you either. Ah, I'm Nanny Plum again. And I'm the wise old elf. Good. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Can I celebrate by turning you into a frog? Don't even think about turning me into a frog. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The woodpecker. Oh, do you have to knit? I like knitting. It's my hobby. Why does it have to be so noisy? Someone's a bit grumpy. I'm not grumpy. I'm bored. Maybe you should have a hobby, like stamp collecting. What's stamp collecting? You collect stamps and put them in a book. Why would anyone want to do that? How about train spotting? You look at trains and write down their numbers in a book. No one would want to do that. Or there's bird spotting. Don't tell me. I look at birds and write them down in a book. Yes. Something like that. I love birds. Please try it, Daddy. <sighs> OK. What do I do? You'll need binoculars, a bird spotter's bag and, of course, a book. Welcome to the world of bird spotting. Look for birds, then tick them off in this book. All right, I'll give it a go. A bird! What sort of bird is it, Daddy? Um, it's a robin! Yes, a robin! And I spotted it! This is rather fun! Oh, there's another bird! What does it look like? Um, it's got a long pointy beak! Oh, it's a woodpecker! A very special bird! Can I have a look, Daddy? Yes, Holly! Ooh! The woodpeckers landed on the great elf tree. Orange juice, Ben? Yes, please, Mum. Ah! Quick, everyone out! It's an earthquake! It's, it's an, an earthquake. earthquake! It's, it's an, an earthquake. earthquake! It's not an earthquake. Phew! It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Smashing the tree! It's made a hole! It's got inside! Oh, it's not in my flat! Phew! It's not in my flat! Ah, our door's stuck! Here, son, let me try! <laughs> I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your Majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Oh, thank goodness you're here, your Majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be baby woodpecker chicks. And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be disturbed. That's the law. Is it? Uh, it is now. <laughs> By royal command. Oh, it's in writing. We'll have to obey it. Elves never break the law. And we're elves. Splendid. That's that sorted. 
Can I stay and look at the woodpecker with Ben? Yes, Holly. I've got more bird spotting to do. Da da do dum da dee da 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 dee dum da da dee da. There, all nice and tidy. Oh, what's this? It's just bird seed, Nanny. I'm trying to attract some rare birds. Don't sweep it up. Are you sure, Your Majesty? We don't want to attract a mouse. Look, Holly, eggs. <gasps> They're hatching. Baby birds. Hello, I'm Ben. And this is Holly. Oh, they're so sweet. Hmm, they'd be a lot sweeter if they weren't in our home. They're going. I think they're trying to fly. But they can't fly. I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying. And I'm a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, baby birds. Just copy me. Flying is easy peasy. Oh, they're not copying me. Maybe we should start with something simpler. How did you learn to fly? I've been flying since I was a baby. I can't remember my first flying lesson. Hmm. Let's begin with flapping, like this. <laughs> They're copying you, Ben. Now flap faster. Now jump. They're flying. Clever, Ben. You taught them to fly even though you can't fly yourself. Bye-bye, <laughs> birds. There they go. Goodbye, little ones. Oh, don't say you miss them now. No, I've just got something in my eye. Have the chicks hatched yet? I want to tick them off in my book. They've flown away, Daddy. I taught them how to fly. Oh, baby woodpecker chicks are a once-in-a-lifetime sight for a bird spotter. But you missed them. It's not fair. Now I'm not going to spot anything good. Hello? King Thistle, we've got a strange nest in the castle. A nest? I'll be there straight away. Nanny, where's the nest? It's in the middle of my kitchen. It's a... Don't tell me, Nanny. I want to be the one to spot it. Wow, that's a big nest. It can't stay in my kitchen. Nanny Plum. My law says no nesting creature may be disturbed. But it's a... Shush, Nanny. This is my hobby, not yours. I'll name it. Whoa! It's got beady eyes. Beady eyes? Hmm. It could be the beady-eyed blackbird. Aha! That sounds rare. <gasps> it's got whiskers. Whiskers? Uh, it could be the whiskered thrush. And it's got a long, scaly tail. A scaly tail? This bird is so rare, I don't even know it. I've discovered a new bird. It shall be named the King Thistlebird. If you say so, Your Majesty. But I don't want that filthy, smelly rodent in my kitchen. Nanny Plum, that's no way to talk about the King Thistlebird. We must let it lay its eggs in peace. I don't think rats lay eggs. Rats? <laughs> ah! The rats! <laughs> oh, you've got rats. Get rid of it! Yes, shoo, shoo. Get out of here, you filthy rat. <laughs> No, Your Majesty. The King Thistlebird must be allowed to stay. What? Your law says no nesting animal may be disturbed. Did I say that? Yes, Daddy. Well, um, maybe the law should say, um, uh... Let me see this law. You see, it's in writing. There's nothing we can do about it. As Queen... I declare this silly law abolished. <gasps> now, get this rat out of my castle. Um, Nanny Plum, you speak rat. Tell it to leave, please. Now, what's rat for please leave? Oh, yes. Ahem. 
Get out of my kitchen! <laughs> oh, Nanny, you've hurt a rat's feelings. I think I can live with that. <sighs> Why does knitting have to be so noisy? What? Daddy, it's brilliant. The baby woodpeckers are here. Now you can tick them off in your book. Ah, yes. Lovely. Honestly, darling, why do you have to have such a noisy hobby? Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The very important person. Look what's come in the post. What a fancy envelope. It looks very posh. Let's see who it's from. Dear King and Queen Thistle, I have decided to come and visit your little kingdom today. I'll be arriving at dinner time. Yours sincerely, King Leopold. King Leopold? Yes. Never heard of him. He's heard of you, Daddy. Just think, a king. I'm a king. No, but a proper one. We must give him a royal welcome. He's a VIP. What's a VIP? A very important person. I'm a very important person. What is everyone getting so excited about? Have you heard the news? A king is coming to visit. It's written down in writing. Brilliant, isn't it? A real king. I'm a real king. It's so exciting that a very important person is coming. I want to tell everyone. I want to tell the marigolds. Hello. Hello. Queen Thistle here. Oh, my little sister. How are you? I'm fine. I just thought you'd like to know that we have King Leopold visiting today. Who's King Leopold? A very important person. A VIP? Oh, my goodness. A VIP? Our castle's bigger. Why can't the VIP come here? No, thank you. King Leopold wants to visit us. Oh. But maybe you could come and meet him too. Oh, yes, please. We're having a party in his honour tonight. We'll be there. Bye. Usually the marigolds laugh and laugh and laugh at us, but this time we'll be different. <laughs> We've got King Leopold coming to visit. We must start preparing. We'll have to make lots of lovely food. I'll start cooking straight away. We'll need a red carpet and the little children can wave flags to welcome King Leopold. And we'll have beautiful music. Now, children, everyone pick an instrument. Then you can play the spal throttle. OK. I've got the thump warbler. <coughs> and I've got the trimpy trumpy. <coughs> I think I'll have the fairy harp. Ah! Magic instruments! It is meant to be an elf and fairy band. And we fairies always use magical instruments. Oh, very well. Just a little magic, then. OK. Here's the magic piano. Hello, I'm a magic piano. I sing and I talk and I play. Ah! Too much magic. The wise old elf doesn't like magic. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm not a magic piano. I'm just a normal piano. I don't talk, really. My turn. A magic triangle. I can't bear to look. Oh, a pretty triangle. What's magical about that? Just don't ask it for free wishes. <laughs> ah! Would it be OK if we played some rock and roll? Rock and roll? Certainly not. We're playing for King Leopold, remember? OK. It was just a thought. Now, let's make music. Good work, everybody. It's looking great. Where's the food? Nanny Plum! There you go. I've made spaghetti vongole a la truffles. Yum, yum! This food looks delicious. 
better than the usual stodge you make me. That's because King Leopold is coming to dinner. <sighs> Have all the little children got their flags to wave? <laughs> do that for me. Because... I know, I know. I'm not King Leopold. And we need music. Where's the band? Here we are. We've been practicing all afternoon. Oh, good. It's nearly time. Everybody into their seats. I can hear footsteps. Someone's coming. Hooray! Here he comes! Let's start the music! Hello there! Ah! The name! Evening all! Get out of the way! We're waiting for a very important person! Oh, yes? Who's that then? King Leopold! That's me! <gasps> you? You're King Leopold? Are you an actual king? Oh, yes. Where's your crown? I keep it under me hat. But why have you never told us before? Oh, I don't like to go on about it. Don't like to go on about it? You sent us this flowery letter asking for a feast. Yes. Well, if I just drop in, I find people usually send me away. But if I send a letter as King Leopold, I get a bit more of a welcome and a dinner. It works the first time anyway. Can I have this pie? Uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> Very nice. I know a fact about pies. Do you want to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Pies are never found in the wild. They have to be made by someone. <laughs> <sighs> All that effort and King Leopold oh turns out to be the gnome. Yes, mm. it's an outrage. <laughs> oh, he's still a king. And you've all been making such a fuss about a very important person coming. Daddy is right. Yes, we should still welcome King Leopold. Especially after all our practice. Let's enjoy ourselves. We've got a party with music and lovely food. Yes, I suppose things haven't worked out too badly. King and Queen Marigold are here. Oh! oh, no more pies. What's this? It's spaghetti vongole. OK, I'll give it a go. What will the marigolds say when they see that? <laughs> They'll laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And here we are, darling. Where is King Leopold? Uh, well, he's there. There? <laughs> he's that gnome king. Look, he doesn't even wear a crown. Oh, I keep it under me hat. How humble he is. How modern. Oh, I feel positively overdressed. Me too. From now on, I'm going to wear a sack. Can we do the song now? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> King Leopold, may I present the Elf and Fairy Band? Lovely. Excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing you've got a magic piano. Hello there. And no offence, but that fancy whiffy waffy music is a waste of a good magic piano. Do you know any rock and roll? Rock and roll's my middle name! Wise old elf, do you like rock and roll? Rock and roll? I most certainly do not like rock and roll. I'll take that as a yes. Over to you, Mr. Piano. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. Down. Oh, <laughs> if I must bump your booze and wiggle your woo-ahs. Thank you very much. 
Oh, that was fun. I'm going to enjoy staying here. Oh, dear. We're stuck with him for weeks now. This Gnome King is incredible. If only King Leopold would come and stay with us at our castle. I don't see why not. Just mention pies and he's all yours. I say, old boy, would you like to stay with us for a few weeks? There will be pies. <laughs> no, if there's pies involved, I'll stay with you forever. A bee bop a doo -dah. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy's pet. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up. Daisy, Poppy, don't ride your hobby horses on the breakfast table. Oh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The twins really like ponies at the moment. Hmm. They really want a pet. And ponies are lovely pets. So pretty and cuddly. And they've got long, swishy tails to brush. Daisy and Poppy would so love a pony. Pony, pony. Goodness me, no! Ponies are ginormous. And Daisy and Poppy are tiny fairies. No pony. <coughs> Maybe the princesses could have another sort of pet. Pet! 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 I can magic them up a harmless, fluffy little pet. Wait a minute. Pets need looking after. Who's going to do all the cleaning up? The twins can. We will. We promise. OK. But please make it a sensible pet, Nanny. Not a dragon or a, or a dinosaur. Of course, Your Majesty. <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, darling. Nanny Plum knows what she's doing. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Here we are, the magical fairy library. Now, let's find a book on pets. Hmm, a tiger. Tiger, tiger. No, too big. Oh, tiger. Hmm, a snake. Snakey, snakey. No, too wriggly. Oh, wriggly, snakey. An alligator. Alligator, alligator. No, too many teeth. Oh, alligator. Ah, here we go. The perfect little pet, a hamster. Hamster, hamster. <laughs> I wonder what pet Nanny has magicked up for Daisy and Poppy. As long as it's small, I don't care. Ahem. May I present the princess's new pet, Pippin. A rat! No, Your Majesty. Pippin is a lovely little hamster. How sweet! <laughs> Pippin likes you, Daddy. <coughs> oh, it is cute, isn't it? Cute isn't quite the word I had in mind. <laughs> I think it'd be um happier if it lived outside. Very well. Back, back, Pippin. <laughs> They're fine as long as you don't show you're afraid. Back, Pippin. Back, Pippin. Back. There, Pippin. Welcome to the courtyard, your new home. I hope Pippin won't be bored living here. We'll give Pippin some toys. And hamsters like lots of straw. Can we give Pippin something to eat, Nanny? Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. the courtyard full of straw. It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> it's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Hot Oh, no! Pippin's run away! Oh, um, how sad! How terribly sad! Pippin! Pippin! 
We've lost Pippin. What a dreadful turn of events. Pippin's gone. Gone forever. Wait, King Thistle. I can get your hamster back. Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben. It's no trouble. Elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf. <coughs> Ready, Gaston? <coughs> 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 Pippin's back, King Thistle. Safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. <laughs> Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Let's ask the wise old elf. He knows everything. Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! Oh, 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 oh. The things we do for our pets, eh, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again! The wheel's heading for the great elf tree! We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh! <laughs> it's heading back to the little castle! Oh. oh, my goodness, Mr. Elf! We were spared by the mighty wheel thundering back from whence it came, and I think it was... <clears throat> There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? The wheel hit the elf tree, but everyone is OK. Hooray! What's the bad news? The wheel is coming back here! Ah! Everyone into the tower! Run for your lives! Yes, King Thistle. Wonderful, isn't it? Your hamster is back home. <gasps> oh, Pippin's tired. You see? The wheel worked. Now we know how much exercise Pippin needs every day. To the elf tree and back. No! Pippin has to go. Oh, but Daisy and Poppy love Pippin. Pippin. I don't want a pet living in my castle. I could magic Pippin into a different kind of pet. A pet that could live outside the castle. <sighs> OK, Nanny. Just do it. 
The elves have mended the hamster cage. I, I, I mean the castle, Your Majesty. Splendid! Let's take a look. What? Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty? Why is there straw in my courtyard? Courtyard? Oh, you mean the feeding bowl. What? Yes, darling. You asked for a pet that could live outside the castle. So we went back to what we all wanted in the first place. A pony! Ah! <laughs> oh, lovely. Pippin Pony! <laughs> giddy up, giddy up! <laughs>